What's up, everyone? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and Litecoin for the daily update. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily updates. I want to remind you guys, too, there's a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome community. There's also some other affiliate links down there that really help support the channel. I'd appreciate it if you guys check them out. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. See what's going on. What's up? Just a reminder to everybody, this is not financial advice, nor is it investing or trading advice. There is a disclaimer scrolling on the bottom. Read it because this is my opinion, not yours. Do your own due diligence. And let's look at the news real quick. Um, just the headlines. I like to look at it just to kind of get an idea where the sentiment's at. So the first one is Bitcoin is safe haven, haven for your money. $75,000 Bitcoin's price is set to climb exponentially if this happens. Um, you guys can obviously go into these. I'm just reading the headlines. But stark Bitcoin warning issued as greed sharply rises. And we'll take a look at the fear and greed index. Here's why Wall Street veterans thinks Bitcoin isn't a, vi a viable investment. Billionaire investors see major flaw in Bitcoin investment thesis. Um, analyst traders should prep for serious shift in bitcoin volatility uh the fate of bitcoin's bull market rests on this key level and i believe they're talking about the 50 moving average or something like that anyway like i said you can read them yourself bitcoin flashes sell signal after struggling to break the 200 ma uh bitcoin price indicates indicator eyes first bullish turn since so it's kind of a mixture um, in the news we'll take a look at I want to remind you guys too. don't forget to leave your comments down below and I appreciate everybody that's taking the time out to give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below that also gets you entered to win a free t-shirt make sure your notification bells are ticked and you click all so you get notified a lot of people have been saying they haven't been getting notified when the videos go up all you have to do is go in and click your all on your your notification bell so Looking at the fear and greed index, we're at 52. We raised three points since yesterday. So, you know, like that, the headline had said it spiked to the greed, whatever, big spike. There was a 3% spike. It's not that big. So just be careful with the news, guys. I like to go over just the headlines, but I don't believe 90% of what it says, just like other news. Um, anyways. Looking at the longs versus short on Bitfinex, BitMEX, and Binance combined, the longs are at 61.85%, shorts are at 38.15%, Bitfinex still crazy longs at 83%, but like I said, nobody really knows what's going on with that. All right, let's look at the monthly. So looking at the monthly, um, I have this marked here, 91.99, it's 90, 9,200 basically in the monthly. If we close above that, guys, we'll be closing above this channel, which is going to be extremely bullish. That'll be a close above these two closes here from October and November. I think that'll be an extremely bullish sign. So watch out for that. We still have, what is today, 22nd. So we still have over a week um, to see what happens here. Let's go to the weekly i'm gonna take a quick look at the weekly and show you why i have this target here of 11 169 and, and again guys that's not exact but just to show you real quick how i came up with it if we take a measured move off of last year's or actually uh the the big bull run and we do a measured move from the swing high to the swing low we hit the golden pocket area right between the 0.65 and 0.68 right here, which was our $13,800 peak last year. And if we go do the same thing from the swing high to the swing low, and that's if we've hit bottomed here, which I still believe we have. Um, I could be wrong there, and we'll take a look at it both ways. But And as you can see, the 0 0.618, 0 0.65 golden pocket region is right around the 11.1, 11.2 range which also lines up with this orange trend lines I have here, which make a symmetrical triangle. And 
what I expect to see if this plays out is, you know, we got our bounce here up and we'll test this golden pocket zone and maybe come back down and continue up from there. But keep an eye on this. Obviously, if this breaks, we will have a nice run up. But if we get rejected, we'll most likely be coming back down to test the $78 to $8,000 range before continuing up. Now, if that breaks, then we look at our lower targets. The 0 0.786 of this retracement is around the 5,400. Um, that's the worst case, in my opinion. We'll take a look at the weekly RSI. For those of you that haven't seen it, you can see I have this red line here, which is a SR support and resistance line for the weekly RSI. We had broken down below it back in uh, 2000, I believe it was 2014 or 15 back here. We capitulated underneath it. Coinbase doesn't have that data on here. Um, but we popped back above it in the middle of 2015, came back down, tested it for support, and continued up our bull run of 2017. Then we capitulated below it again in 2018 bear market, broke back above, and now we have come back down and tested it for support. So... Um, I do believe this is going to hold on the weekly. If we broke below this on the weekly EMA, I would be extremely bearish. That would probably get pretty ugly. Now let's look at the day. Well, let's go back over to the weekly real quick and just look at the EMAs. I did not pull those up. So looking at the EMAs, we are still well above all the EMAs here. And actually... The 8 EMA looks like it's going to try to cross the 13 EMA this week. Obviously, the week is, we're only in the middle of the week, so we really can't judge on that yet. But as you can see here, on the EMAs, we are, we just dropped, we're actually getting support on the 8 EMA right here at about 86.30. Um, I do believe we're most likely going to see a little bit more downside, and we'll take a look at that here in a minute. But I do want to point out, this rising wedge here and if indeed that's what it is then the measured move of that guys the break of that is around the 72 20 72 30 range that also is the 0.618 and the 0.65 is down at the 6900 so this again is a golden pocket area um, that does measure up to hit the 0.618 so keep that in mind that it is possible. Um, I don't know, you know, if we're going to actually go down this low or not. We do have this major support around 7,700 also. Keep that in mind. We'll go into the smaller time frames and see what I'm looking at. I will go into the RSI real quick on the daily. And if we look at that, let's go, let's zoom in a little bit. So looking at this falling wedge or falling channel here in orange or red, I'm not sure, I'm colorblind. Um, we had broken out of it over here and we are in this rising wedge or rising channel in the white now. Question is, do we come back down and retest this top of this falling channel? And if we did, that's most likely going to be around the 8,070 area, which will most likely actually line up with the 55 EMA on the daily also. Like I said, we're going to take a look a little bit closer. We'll go into the four hour. And if we look at the four hour, we are getting squeezed back inside the EMAs here. We have dropped back below. We'll take a look at the EMAs first, and then I can get them off chart and kind of clean it up. But the 8, the 13, and the 21 right here, we have dropped back below it. So we are in between the 55 and the 8, 13, and 21. We probably will be squeezed in here for a little while. Um, we're definitely getting resistance up here at about 86.60 and support around the 80, 8,600, 8580 area. Now, we do have this long-term We do have this long-term falling channel here, and I drew it off of these wicks here. Support down at the bottom, resistance, or yeah, resistance at the top. We have broken through the resistance on the top, and if we zoom in here, guys, we are getting support on the top of that, which is lining up with the 55 EMA here, and that's around the 8580 range. If we break below that, I believe we're going down towards these targets. And we had been talking about an ABC 
correction. Um, and I know a lot of people are looking at this as a finished one wave if you use Elliott wave theory. Um, I do not. I think this is one and this is two down here. This whole thing is three. I think we still can possibly have a fifth wave going up. Um, that is my opinion, not yours. But now let's take a look at why I believe that. So I do believe this is going to be an ABC correction. I had thought that we were going to have A all the way down to 83 before going up and getting our B. Now we may still do that. So, but as you can see, volume is still declining within this whole formation here. So we still are looking for a break either today or tomorrow. I see some big movement coming in, um, <clears throat> in my opinion. Let's look at the RSI. You know what? Let me get the EMAs out of our way here. And excuse me if I'm a little all over the place here, guys. Um, we have a dog. She's 17. And it's probably within the next couple days we're going to have to put her down. And it's funny because our, our, we have a younger dog. She's about a year and a half old. And she just started s smelling our old dog. And sorry if this is off topic, guys. I just thought I'd explain a little bit why I'm a little off this morning in the charts but she started whining and sniffing and watching the other dog and um, this morning she's not doing too well so this may end up being the day and we've had her for 17 years so it's kind of overwhelming but anyways back to here another thing i wanted to mention if you guys are trading um i don't know what platform you're using but i do use uh, bybit and prime xbt and i'll leave a there's a link down below to both of them you get a bonus for signing up to each of them you get a sign on bonus if you use my link down below i'll also leave, leave a um bybit tutorial up top so you can check it out and uh but don't don't go in and throw a bunch of money in if you're if you're new to trading and people say you know you lose a lot of money in trading yeah, definitely can lose a lot of money in trading, but if you stick to it and really put the time into it, you you can you can do pretty well with trading too. But keep in mind it's risky and don't do crazy high leverage and don't put in more money than you're willing to lose and you won't freak out. So looking at this ABC correction that I believe we may this may have ended up being the A, even though I thought the A was gonna be at 83, but I'd still be watching this 83 area for a bounce if we do get down there. Keep in mind, we have to break down, for that to confirm, we got to break down underneath this um, 8580 area, which we've been getting support. You can see we're riding that line right now. But if if we do remain getting support up here, we could go as high to test this white broadening wedge we had here. Uh, we could come back up and touch that. And if we did that within the next you know, four to eight hours would be around the 89 to the 89.50 range. And <clears throat> if we slowly crep up, we could get as high as the 9,000. But in my opinion, guys, we're most likely going to continue down from here. And my target for here is that 80.70 for the ABC correction. If I took a Fibonacci extension and I go from the swing high up here down to what I believe is the A down here, Go back up to the B, which is up here. If we look at the one-to-one -one extension, gets us right around that 8,070, which goes in line with, if we look at the daily, it would be right in line with down here to retest the top of this wedge here. So that that's all lining up. It's got some confluence there. Definitely think that's the possibility. I'd be looking for a big bounce here, um, but also keep in mind, that we do have the measured move falling out of this wedge here the measured move being the widest point of the wedge to where we broke down um, we do have a measured move there of 7320 so keep that in mind most likely we'll at least get a bounce here at 8074 but in my opinion that's most likely going to be um, the correction of this third wave and we're going to have one more wave up now where that wave ends up um there's actually you know no telling but let's say we did get down to this 8070 and we'll take a look at litecoin in a second guys but let's take a look at that 8070 if that was the fourth wave this was the third um i would be looking for a target anywhere from uh 95 
50 area to actually let's go 9500 to 9900 um obviously it could go all the way up to that 105 that we have talked about as a possible inverse head and shoulders this being the left shoulder this being the head come all the way up here to the neckline and make a left shoulder but obviously we can't call that yet we got to See what happens and what the chart gives us. We cannot see in the future. So going back to the RSI now, we'll take a quick look at that. We've been watching this forever. We're in this rising channel here. We had this rising broadening wedge. We watched that for, we were watching that for like a week, waiting for it to break here and it finally broke. And it does look like, we are going to continue down. As you can see, I have this drawn in here. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of those. Those aren't valid yet. I'll put them back up there if they validate. But if we look here, we still have more room to the downside um, to retest the bottom of this rising channel in red. So that would coincide with the ABC correction theory. But... Now, like I said, the other the higher targets that would be coming back up here and maybe testing the top the bottom of this broadening wedge, um, which would be that eighty nine to ninety one hundred range. So keep that in mind that that's possible. But I do think that this is A B C finished or A and B are finished, and we're coming down to C, which is going to be um, between that eighty three eighty. 8,080 to 8,300 range. So keep a close eye on that. Let's go into Litecoin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking at Litecoin, as you can see, the 200 EMA gave us resistance. We didn't actually close a candle above. Um, well, actually, we did. We didn't open a and close a candle above. So we did get rejected there on Litecoin. Now, I do have the same thing here. If this is an ABC and we have finished A and finished B, the measured, the one to one extension out that's around the 5132, which also lines up with the 0.5 pretty close. But remember that we have this support and resistance line right here at 4950. Also below that, the 0.618 of this move is 4823. Um, but I, like I said, I still see more downside for Litecoin too, but I am looking for a bounce between this 49 and 51 area to possibly get us up to the 66. Now that's if we're in an ABC, but if you guys have been watching um, on the daily here, if I take a trend line and do a measured move from this wedge here, looking at this as a, a rising broadening wedge or ascending broadening wedge and I put it up to the breakout we've had this target here at 6600 for quite some time now if we remain above this top trend line here which we have been getting support on and as of right now if we were to break the 5644 that gets us back in this wedge and where I believe we come back down to the 49 to 5200 range in here before a bounce like I said, we could bounce straight up there from here. If this top line supports us, we could get to our 66 target. If not, most likely we come down here and that will be our fifth wave. So if we do get these, um, the C in both Bitcoin and Litecoin will be a good place to long when we find the end of them. Um, but yeah, keep in mind, definitely check out the links down below. I Like I said, I have exchange links down there. And don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section down below. This is my wife's webpage. There's also a link to that down below, inkyourimage.com. She has lots of crypto stuff in there. Whoops. Um, lots of crypto stuff in there you can check out. She does quite a few different things. And you can actually put anything you want on any of this stuff. Um, there's coffee mugs, t-shirts, aluminum signs, hats. Um, she also does like glass plaques, if you ever seen that fracture on TV, same type stuff. She can put family pictures on this stuff, anything you want, any coin, any whatever. So definitely check it out. It's another way to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head if you're not subscribed already. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes. 
leave your comments, and I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. I will most likely be doing a live stream tonight. Um, I'm going to try to. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.